This wood handle screwdriver was part of Jack's collection of tools and pocket knives sent to me by his widow, Lori. It's marked Stanley, made in USA, and Bell System KS6854. The tip was in pretty rough shape. Unfortunately, Jack passed away before he got a chance to work on this. My plan was to restore it to what it would have looked like new. I think Jack would have liked that. I prefer to reshape the smaller tip screwdrivers by hand rather than use my belt sander. I started with 150 grit and I used my little anvil as a flat surface to sand on. Here's the tip after several minutes of sanding. I felt like the shape wasn't right. The tip seemed too narrow. So I used my sanding disc to take material off of the end. I only touched the tip to the disc for a couple of seconds at a time to keep it from overheating. I kept rotating the tip 180 degrees to help average out any misalignment. Okay, here's the tip and shaft after sanding through all the grits in my box. I used my drill press to help me sand the furl. I started out with 240 grit. I was able to get the furl looking pretty good without losing any of the markings. I gave the wood handle a good scrubbing in soapy water. Here's the handle after its bath. You can barely see the remains of the fluting. My theory is that the fluting on these screwdrivers was pressed in rather than cut out. Over time, the wood didn't wear away the compressed fibers relaxed and the fluting lost its depth. I used my drill press again to help sand the handle. And I used my table saw as a flat surface to sand the butt. I gave the handle a coat of shellac to seal the wood before painting. After the shellac dried, I went over the handle with 320 grit. Here's the handle after two coats of flat black. I went over the handle with super fine steel wool before applying the clear coat. Okay, here's what Jack's Stanley Bell System screwdriver looked like when I got it from Lori. And here it is now. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? I gave the handle two coats of matte clear and Chuck and I polished the metal with flits. Bell System refers to the Bell Telephone Company and later AT&T. The virtual monopoly of Ma Bell was broken up into smaller Baby Bell companies in the 1980s.
The phone company had specifications for its tools, similar to military specifications. I found the 1970 specification for non-coded tools. It contained the required dimensions for the KS6854 screwdriver. Here's a bell system procedure for thermal relays. The KS6854 is specified in the list of tools and test apparatus. Here's another procedure for jacks. The KS6854 is also in the list of tools and materials. I checked jack screwdriver against the spec. The shaft is more than a quarter inch short. I didn't take that much material off, so the tip must have broken off at some point. The overall length is also short, about a quarter inch. I reprofiled the tip by eye, so I'm not surprised it doesn't quite meet the spec. That 19,000 seems awfully thin. No wonder it broke. The diameter of the handle was in spec. I feel like this supports my theory that the fluting hadn't worn away, but just decompressed over time. This was a fun project. Thanks again to Lori for allowing me to share some of Jack's collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. The eBay auction of the first four items from Jack's collection raised over $177 for the Flemington Area Food Pantry. Thank you to everyone who bid for supporting my local food pantry. I'm looking forward to including more of Jack's collection in my November charity auction.